I think Leonardo got a little bit more reptilian. Today we'll be looking at the NECA toys, Universal Monsters, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Leonardo as a creature from the Black Lagoon. Leonardo took a dive into the Black Lagoon and out pops Leonardo as a creature from the Black Lagoon. Comes with alternate hands, katanas, and a bone claw and a, a little turtle friend. Now this is not our first Leonardo from the NECA line with the Universal Monsters and TM TMNT mashups. The first one was the Hunchback, and I was not a fan of that one. That's why I did not get that one. I was not really interested in that. So, but I love this one. So let's take a look at the accessories to begin with. So he does come with two katanas. One of them has a little fish on it. I actually kind of like that touch. The detail on that fish is actually quite nice. You can see the teeth, the eyes. This is a piranha, yeah. So, and then you can see the, the little wrap on it. It's like a little spear. It's a spear katana. It's got the little wrap coming off of it. And the other one's just normal. No fish on it. No piranha, just it doesn't have a little wrap coming off. But no, I like the detail in these. I think that's nice. I like the little the little piranha on there. That's a nice inclusion. Inclusion makes it look like you went fish went spear fishing and caught a piranha. Um comes with a little little turtle. Nothing special, doesn't have any articulation or anything, just a hard plastic piece. It comes with a set of gripping hands so he can hold his katanas. And the details on these, the hands look really nice, the way the claws are right there. You can see the like little, little like what's this like little webbing like the little scales right there the web pattern and then he comes with a, a set of tighter closed hands i don't know this was just kind of eh. and it comes with bone claws he wants to be like wolverine except it only has two and then in the little plastic bag there is this little like netting piece that comes on there with the little hooks and the two little bulbs on there be careful because i've i've dropped both of these twice and it took me forever to find them but it comes with two of these just set those off to the side and i have no no plan of putting them on there but yeah let's set off those aside and let's let's look at the figure so like i said this is second leonardo this is a creature from the black lagoon i actually like this one better than the hunchback one um you can see it has an open mouth which i doesn't really bother me the camera a little bit it kind of fits on there kind of doesn't but no you can see the pat the shell on the back has fossils of fish i forgot what these were called you can see like a little like claw hand and then more fish and it has this nice netting along the entire thing with little like bulbs and has hooks on it you see the spine going all the way down and it goes down to here and it's got the nice scale pattern the detail on this is just it's perfect dang near perfect and you see the, the detail on the little the torso piece and then the little open wider open hands and then it has like a little wrap right here then it has little fins going down, and then elbow pads, knee pads, 
and then its feet kind of look like this almost but no it's like claw feet and it's got the little scales on the back too no the, the amount of detail that was put into this is actually really surprising <clears throat> and you can see it probably won't show very good but there's like shadowing of like dirt just kind of all along the the bandana and it's got deep blue eyes you now there's just the amount of detail on this is the fins and everything but yeah this the detail on this turned out perfect now he had doesn't really have any trouble standing Although he is, he does have a little back heaviness because this is a very th hard plastic thick shell. And I'd be careful with m moving this figure because it is kind of pokey. So it might hurt, poke a little bit. It's kind of spiky. But yeah. Um, so for storing the weapons, I'm assuming you can go right here. I'm not actually for sure. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me, let me try this. I would assume they can go right there. And then that, this one could go right there, but it doesn't really work too well, in my opinion. But, I mean, you could kind of do that, but that looks a little weird. But I'm probably just going to have him holding these. If I get it I it's stuck in the net. Alright, I knew that was a good idea. <clears throat> All right, but he's, he can hold the katanas. There we go. But let's first see how this looks on there. Um, I'm assuming this is how you do it. Uh, give me a sec. Let me figure. Let me figure this out. So after about 10 minutes of fiddling with this thing, I think I might have got it in. I don't know how snug it is, but I'm assuming it's supposed to look like this, like that. I had to take off the hand, attach it to the peg on the hand, and try to peg it back in. I don't know if it really went in that good, but I mean, it looks nice. It looks cool. It's just I'm not going to be splaying it with that, that on there. So let me uh, try you know, there we go. Now let, let's put in the katana hands. Man. Oof, the hand almost flew off the screen. Let's put in the gripping hands because I'm going to have him displayed with. Alright, there we go. Yeah, so I'm, here we go. I just kind of gotta fiddle with this thing. Ah, yeah, because I'm gonna have him holding them like holding these, display him with these. And this one's kind of snug. Because this is how I'm going to display him. Holding hold hold the katanas. That's how he's going to look on my display. <clears throat> but yeah. Let me just. Yeah. He's going to be gonna be doing that. Holding that like that. In my display. Yeah. I'm going to display him like that. He's going to be holding the katanas. All right, let's take a look at the articulation. Let me just pry that out. Pry that out. Set those over there. All right, now. The head is on a swivel, although it can't move too much because of the bandana. It can look up and down a little bit. The neck can move a little. Oh, uh, 
shoulders can go all the way around. Those a little tight. Biceps swivel with the I mean, elbow swivel, double jointed elbows, although not too much movement there. Wrist swivel. Hands can move. Just not by a lot. Um, there is nothing or no articulation in the torso. Legs can go up that far. They can go back like that far. Kind of make him like he's running, sort of. Um, the, the knee pads can move. Oof, so prickly. Double jointed knees. At least I think so. Yeah. Yeah, double jointed knees. Look, kind of looks like he hyperextended his knee there. Foot can move up and down, so side to side. And they can do it on both sides. Although it's really hard to do sometimes because he has all these little gills and spines and stuff that just kind of poke you. Uh, he can't stand, thankfully. Yeah, he can stand, so that is good. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any other of the Ninja Turtle Universal Monster uh, toys to compare with him. This is actually my only NECA figure in my first one, so I'm going to have to go back around and get the rest of them. I did get this from Target, and the Target did have the Wolfman Raphael, so I will be picking that up sometime. But yeah. Overall, I do love this figure. I prefer this one. I wanted this one, not the hunchback one. I was, I just didn't like how the main leader of the teeny of the Ninja Turtles, a hunchback. I was like, mm -mm. I didn't really care for the Universal Monster. Plus, I'm not a big fan of the hunchback to begin with. So, but I know there's a Michelangelo as the mummy, Splinter as Van Helsing, Casey Jones as the Phantom of the Opera, Donatello as the Invisible Man, and then there's two Raphaels, like there's two Leonardo's, there's one as Frankenstein and one as the Wolfman, I will be getting both of those, and there's also April Nil as the Bride of Frankenstein. Um, I'm assuming when they do Shredder, I'm assuming it's going to be Dracula, that's what I would hope. But yeah. So in the process of me trying to get the other katana in his hand, um, it broke. So, I'm going to probably have to glue this or pick up another one of these. Or, you know, if anybody is uh, wanting to just send me the katana and want the little fish on it, I'm fine with that too. But, yeah. Today we had a look at Universal Monsters, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Leonardo as the Creature of the Black Lagoon. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And I have other reviews up on the channel if you enjoyed this one. So, please take a look at those. But anyways, remember, you're never too old to be a kid.